that gift that you desire of God, receive it now. Gift of faith, gift of healing, working of miracles. Oh, my Shanda. Say, Lord, I receive my own portion of the gift. The Bible says, covet earnestly the best gift. Whatever gift you covet and you desire, they are available to you right now. Say, I receive my gift of the Spirit. Welcome to the 36th day of our 50 days of fasting and prayers from wherever you are watching in Nigeria and outside Nigeria. God bless you and thank you for joining us today once again. Indeed, it's a time of revival for our nation with the ongoing Light Up Crusade program from city to city, from state to state in Nigeria. We are going to be having that of Abuja this particular week on Wednesday particularly. We thank the Lord for the revival that is already taking place in our land. God is lighting up all the corners of this nation with his light, with his truth, with his power, with his glory. And the wave of revival will not stop in the name of Jesus. It will roll away darkness. It will roll away the works of the enemy. It will usher in a new nation, usher in a new beginning for this nation and for your own life also in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The focus of our prayer today is revival in the land and nations. Revival in the land and nations. And our text will be taken from the book of Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 2. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 2. And it says, O Lord, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. O Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the year. Make known in wrath, remember mercy. The introduction says, For there to be revival in the land and nations, the church must become very prayerful. It is only prayer that can bring about expected turn around that will bring to manifestation the plans of God for a nation. As we pray today once more, the Almighty God will give attention to our call and He will answer our prayers with resounding testimonies, signs and wonders in our land and in our nation. In the name of the Lord Jesus, there will be an outbreak of revival from city to city, from state to state. The revival had begun and it will not stop in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So we're going to bless the name of the Lord with this song for all that God has done thus far for seeing us through this waiting experience in the past 35 days. Let's give thanks to him as we sing. Blessings and honor and glory and praise and glory and praise. Oh yes, and glory and praise. Blessings and honor and glory and praise be unto Christ the Lord. Psalm chapter 103 verse 1, it says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The benefit of forgiving all your iniquities and healing all your diseases. The benefit of renewing your youth like that of an ego. The benefit of healing your sicknesses and your diseases. Benefits that money cannot buy in addition with money, the ones money can buy. Lord, we say thank you. Our souls bless you. Our spirits rejoice in your faithfulness, in your love, in your glory, in your power. In your mercy upon our lands and upon our lives. Be exalted, O God, in Jesus' name we worship. Amen. Thank God for a new day for the salvation of your soul. Whenever we see another breaking of the day, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Anytime I see another breaking of the day, I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, thank you for the salvation of our souls, our Redeemer, our Savior, our Protector, the one who took us out of the jaws of the enemy and brought us into the kingdom of his dear son. I thank God for your life, for the salvation of your soul. 
Your Redeemer is God and is good. He has spared you. He has saved you. He has watched over you. Give him praise and thanks. In Jesus' name, Lord, we are grateful. Amen. Let us bless the name of the Lord truly. It has been of the Lord's message that we have not been consumed because his compassions has not failed upon our lives. If not for God who was on our side, Lamentation chapter 3 verse 22 says, Lord, if not for you who kept watch over us in the night time, in the daytime, the pestilences and the arrows of the enemy would have hit us. If not for you who was fighting on our behalf even when we were asleep, because you never sleep, you never slumber, we would have been dead by now. The enemies would have taken us out. The enemies would have drowned us. The enemies would have afflicted us. Say, Lord, thank you for your mercies and for your compassion upon the life of my brother and my sister. Pray in this prayer. Lord, I am saying thank you for watching over their souls, over their lives, over their spirits, over their bodies and over their destiny for watching over your word to fulfill it in their lives. Lord, I say thank you. In Jesus' name we give thanks. Amen. According to the word of the Lord in Isaiah chapter 56, verse 10, and it says, His watchmen are blind, they are ignorant, they are all dumb dogs, they cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Lord, awake your church from slumber. Lord, we pray for revival. Every sleeping giant in the church, wake them up. The church is a city set on a hill that cannot be hid. Lord, we receive the power to wake up to this reality. He says, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, that Christ may give you light. Lord, as your light is shining across our land, let your church come alive again. Let your church awake again. Lord, awaken us to righteousness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, Father, let there be fresh fire, fresh anointing, fresh unction upon your ministers in the name of the Lord Jesus. According to Acts chapter 2, 1 to 4, tarry in the upper room for the coming of the power of the Holy Ghost. And when the power came, fire came, anointing came, unction came, revival came upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus as a minister of the gospel in the body of Christ, as a worker, as a co-liberal with Jesus in the body of Christ. Receive fresh unction and anointing upon you now that the revival that we are waiting for in our land will begin from your life, will break out through your life. Fresh anointing, fire of the Holy Ghost, fresh unction, let it come upon you afresh in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Fresh fire, the Bible says it makes its ministers flames of fire. Let the anointing, the fireful anointing of God that will give you an utterance, a tongue that the enemies cannot resist. Let it come upon you now. Say, Lord, I receive fresh fire as a worker in your vineyard. Let that fire come on you now. Come on me now afresh in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please say, Father, give us new strength new life, new energy unto your church at this end time in the name of Jesus. Lord, release new strength, new energy, new fire, new strength upon your church in the name of Jesus. Lord, let there be an outbreak of the newness of life. Your word says all things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Your word tells us not to remember the former things, neither consider the things of old, because you are doing a new thing. Lord, we are firm and we proclaim the new thing you are doing now. You are lighting up Nigeria by lighting up the towns and the cities and the villages. Therefore, Lord, the new thing that the light of God is bringing forth into our nation, Lord, we receive them now. New fire, new energy, new lease of life, new anointing receive them upon your life also now in the name of Jesus new ideas new inspirations new insights new mantle let them come upon you afresh even in this end time in Jesus name we pray amen please say father in the name of Jesus release anointing for healing into your church let the blind see let the lame work let the dumb speak let the dead hear and let dead be risen in the name of Jesus 
as you released unto the apostles in the days of old, wherever they went, miracles happened. Therefore, Lord, in the name of Jesus, the fresh anointing that will cause healings to be a daily occurrence in your church. From now, let it be released, O God. The deaf will hear, the dumb will speak, the lame will walk, the dead will rise. In the name of the Lord Jesus, a worker will be a miracle worker. A minister will be a miracle worker. Even members will be miracle workers. Lord, by the unction, this fresh unction and anointing that is upon our land that is spreading like white fire. Lord, let that unction come upon my brother and my sister as we begin to lay hands on the sick ends forth, the healing power of God, the healing virtue of God will flow through you to them in the name of Jesus. You pray for the blind, they will see. You pray, pray for the dumb, they will speak. You pray for the deaf, they will hear. You pray for the lame, they will walk. You pray for the barren, they will conceive. You pray for the dead, they will rise. The anointing and the unction heavily comes upon you now upon me now even in this season and beyond in jesus name we pray amen say father we pray that every inherited strange behaviors and habits in our lives working against our personal revival be destroyed now in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus every inherited strange behaviors and habits working against our manifestation, working against our revival. Lord, we come against them in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every hindrance to the flow of your power, every hindrance to the flow of your anointing, every hindrance to the flow of your grace upon our lives, Lord, we terminate them. Lord, let them be uprooted now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let them be uprooted from your life in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 29, it says in those days they shall say no more. The fathers have eaten a sour grape and the children's teeth are set on edge. It will no longer be heard in our midst. Lord, every inherited habit way of life, every inherited curse, Lord, we command their hold is broken over our lives in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we destroy their grief over our lives, resisting our personal revival. Everything in your life resisting your personal revival in God, resisting the manifestation of your great destiny, resisting the power that God had deposited within you. Let all those things be destroyed now. Let them give way permanently. Walk in the supernatural. Let the power of the Holy Ghost flow freely through you as you experience personal revival now. Say to your soul, say my soul is revived. Say to your spirit, say my spirit is revived. Say to your body, my body is revived. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please say, Father, let every power of darkness in Nigeria, you can also put your country there and say, working against the revival of the church, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every power of darkness, every power from the pit of hell, principalities and powers, wickedness in high places, working against the revival of the power of God in the church of God. Lord, we come against them in the name of the Lord. Father, we pray and we say that they shall be destroyed. According to your word in the book of Psalm chapter 12, Psalm chapter 12, verse 4, the Bible says, Who have said, with our tongue will we prevail? Our lips are our own. Who is the Lord over us? Lord, this is the question we ask and we respond by saying the Lord of hosts is on our side. The Lord of hosts is a man of war. He says in his word, strangers will hear my voice and they will fade out of their hidden places. Every stranger from the feet of hell resisting revival in the church of God. In the name of Jesus, every power of the hell working against revival in the church of God, we put an end to them now. Ah, their end has come. Deliverance is breaking out. Revival is breaking out from the church. The light of God is shining in Jesus name we pray amen please say father I decree and declare every powers of darkness in working against the revival of the economy of Nigeria be destroyed in the name of Jesus put the name of your nation there every power of darkness working against the revival of our economy our economy has been growing worse it has not been getting better for the majority therefore Lord we intercede in the name of Jesus for a revival of our economy coming out of comatose 
coming out of death, coming out of destruction. Lord, let our economy spring back to life again. Let the economy of this nation be for the benefit of the citizens of this nation. Let there be revival in our economy. Lord, let the cost of living become bearable, become affordable for the majority. Let our economy come back to life for the majority. In the name of Jesus, whatever reorder of wealth, redistribution of wealth that has to take place, it will take place. I pray for you that your own economy will be revived. The standard of your living will be enhanced. The Almighty God will cause you to work in abundance, in riches and prosperity in the economy of the nation you are. The Almighty God will use you as an agent of change to also improve the economy of other people in your nation. So shall it be in Jesus' name we receive a revived economy. Amen. Please lift your voice and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every power of darkness working in Nigeria against my personal and family revival be terminated now in the name of Jesus. Every power of hell, every prince of Persia, according to the story of Daniel in Daniel chapter 10, every prince of Persia withholding, withstanding, resisting our revival, resisting our breaking forth, your personal and your family revival. Let those powers be destroyed now. We decree and declare against them. We say that their hold and their grief over your life and your family is broken now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, every prince of Persia, every principality and power in the airspace, in the waterways, resisting the fulfillment of the plans and purpose of God in your life and family, resisting your manifestation and demonstration of power, resisting your revival. We break their hold and their grief over your life now in jesus name we pray amen please say father release your power afresh upon your church such such that members will have genuine experience of the holy spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues in the name of jesus lord your word tells us in acts chapter 2 verse 4 and they were all filled with the holy ghost and they began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Lord Jesus, let there be a revival of the Spirit of God in your church through the evidence of speaking in tongues, speaking mysteries to God, edifying ourselves. Lord, let there be this revival in your church that every worker, minister, member that is here to be baptized in the power of the Holy Ghost, this is their season. Fresh baptism of the power of God comes upon you now and afresh. Your tongue is loosened. Your tongue is losing Your faculty spiritually to respond to the Holy Ghost in praying in tongues and in praying through in the Spirit. Receive it now in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please say, Father, release upon us the grace to wait on you until the spirit be poured on us from on high in the name of the lord jesus yes lord yes lord we wait on you we wait on you lord we wait on you lord we wait on you lord we wait on you declare with your mouth say i wait on you lord i wait on you i wait on you lord i wait on you until the power be poured upon us from on high afresh we wait on you to receive that precious promise of the father the infilling of the holy ghost the power of the holy ghost the demonstration of the power of god lord he say those that wait upon you you will renew their strength we will mount up with wings as eagle we will walk and not faint we will run and not be weary let the same unction come upon you to wait on the lord until your change come in jesus mighty name we pray amen say father let the gift of the holy spirit begin to manifest afresh in churches in nigeria and in other nations of the world in the name of jesus the nine gifts of the holy ghost the gift of utterances the power gift the gift of faith, the gift of discerning of spirit, the gift of word of knowledge, the gift of word of wisdom, the gift of working of miracles, the gift of interpretation of tongues, the gift of tongues. Let the power of this gift begin to manifest in new dimensions in the church of God. That gift that you desire of God, receive it now. Gift of faith, gift of healings, working of miracles. Oh, Malika do Shanda. Say, Lord, I receive my own portion of the gift. The Bible says, covet earnestly the best 
greatest gift, whatever gift you covet and you desire, they are available to you right now. Say, I receive my gift of the Spirit and I manifest in that gift of the Spirit. I receive my gift of the Spirit and I manifest in that gift of the Spirit. You want to go ahead and mention that particular gift you want God to endow you with now. In the name of Jesus, gift of faith, gift of working of miracles, Lord, gift of healing, come upon me now, they come upon me now afresh and they come upon you also. In the name of Jesus, you work in the supernatural by the manifestation of the gift of the Holy Spirit in the church of the living God who will not longer work as ordinary men, but as supernatural power dynamos of the house of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's give thanks to God for answers to our prayers. We know revival is poured out upon our lands. We know our lives will never remain the same again. We know the church of God will never remain the same and our nation, Nigeria, and your nation will never remain the same again. Tell the Lord and say, Lord, thank you because my life will never remain the same. I am revived to manifest as your son and your daughter upon the face of the earth. So shall it be for you in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. May the Almighty God answer all these prayers by fire speedily with evidences in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please remember to share this video, like it so that others can get to watch and pray with us and subscribe to this channel if you are yet to do so. God bless you and have a glorious day. Amen.